Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates. The first one is of Martin Fitzwater at 31 days out of Mr. Olympia. And man, I'm looking at this physique update and I'm thinking, this guy, I know he's a rookie, this is gonna be his first Mr. Olympia ever, but how high can he place? I mean, at this point, like, just from seeing his physique, not really thinking about the other bodybuilders who he needs to beat and so on, I am definitely thinking the first call-out. Now, you guys know that if he wants to be in that first call-out, if he wants to place six, let's say, there is a lot of good guys he needs to beat. Guys like Bekru Stabani, if he shows up, Rafael Brandau, Brandon Curry, you know, the former Mr. Olympia, and Hunter Labrada. Let's take a look at this video and let's see, can he pull it off? What do you guys think? So, I have to pause the video right here again at his quarter turn because this is looking really freaking nuts. I think he improved from the New York Pro and the Detroit Pro. I think he grew. I think his arms are even bigger now and his legs. His quads are crazy full right now. You're gonna see it from the front. It's absolutely insane. And I think his chest came up as well. I think he's overall bigger. I don't know how much he gained, but it looks to me like he gained like five pounds of tissue. I don't know how possible that is, but he's a genetic freak. I believe it's possible. And if he brings the conditioning that he brought to the New York Pro stage, I mean, with his clean look, small waist, perfect abs, basically a great vacuum if he wants to pull it, I mean, it's gonna be difficult for anybody to beat Martin Fitzwater this year. And when I saw this quarter turn, it actually reminded me of Brandon Curry Prime, Brandon Curry, but with legs. And also, I don't think we're gonna see this Brandon Curry this year. You guys know that his coach, Abdullah, gave him the leg this year because he, he wasn't really focused in the offseason. He started prepping for the Mr. Olympia 11 weeks out. So, like, it seems like Brandon is slowly fading away. I mean, maybe he surprises us all and shows up looking insane, but I don't think that's going to happen. I feel like he's going to drop this year even more. And I feel like Martin is one of those guys who's going to potentially beat him this year. All right, now let's proceed with the video. So basically, he does only the quarter turns in this video. And from the back, like, you can see his conditioning is not ready yet. There's 31 days left, and the guy has crazy fast metabolism. Conditioning is not going to be an issue. But already, you can see crazy definition in the hamstrings, and also pretty shredded glutes. The back, yeah, that lower back and back overall needs, like, more work to be completely shredded. And once his back is shredded, it's going to look much better than it does right now. But this is just a quarter turn. He's basically half relaxed. He's not hitting a pose. In the back double bicep, he actually looks very good. At this point in prep, at this body fat percentage, his back doesn't look uh, that great, but it's good. And lower body from behind is actually looking very good. Now, the reason why I think he can beat Brandon Curry, maybe even Hunter Labrada and actually play sixth, is because of these freaking legs, right? So Brandon basically, you know, upper body wise, size wise, they're close, I would say. Maybe Brandon is a little bit better in the upper body, like arms, maybe back. But Brandon's legs are a big, big issue. And Martin's legs, not only quads. You just saw his hamstrings from the side and from the back. They are also amazing. The glutes are also always conditioned. But the quads, the quads have crazy density. And I think they are more dense now than they were before. I think he improved the legs as well. And it's no wonder, I mean, the way he's training with Brett Wilkin, you should expect that. So because of the legs, and if he peaks perfectly, he gets conditioned and brings the fullness and everything. You know, with his coach, Stefan Kinsel, it's not going to be an issue. I'm pretty sure he's going to peak perfectly. So if he does, because of the legs, once again, I see him beating Brandon Curry, Bakr Stabani as well. The Rafael Brando, I'm pretty sure about that. Martin is just much, much thicker, much bigger, much rounder. And then uh, we have Hunter Labrada. So I think that's going to be a battle. Hunter Labrada versus Martin Fitzwater. Now, Hunter is probably a little bit thicker. You know, he's a little bit bigger still. Probably has more density. But if Hunter doesn't do his homework, and that's improving the conditioning from Italy, and also fixing the midsection. I mean, his midsection was quite bad at Italy Pro, let's be honest. And take a look at Martin's midsection right here. It's pretty much perfect, right? And he knows how to pull a deep vacuum if he wants to. So as of right now, from what I saw so far, I have Martin in my top six at the Mr. Olympia, actually at sixth spot. Can he be fifth? Can he challenge Andrew Jacked? 
or Nick Walker again. I mean, he lost to him only by one point. I think he can give them a run for their money. Can he beat them this year? I mean, I'm not going to say it's impossible, but I would be surprised. But I think top six is quite realistic. Another very interesting thing about Martin is, like, who's going to be his next sponsor? Because here in the caption, he named, like, 10 different sponsors for 10 different things. And as for the supplements part, he says, who should I work with? And I don't know if he has any offers. I don't know if Hostel plans on signing any more athletes. I never asked Fuad about this, but I saw uh, that Martin was the guest a couple of times at a bro chat. And I think he would actually be a perfect fit for Hostile. And if Fuad signs him, if that happens, Fuad usually has a good eye for these things. If he signs him, that's a sign that Martin is going to do really well in the future. So we'll see. Maybe that happens. I don't have any inside info, but it would make sense. Don't you guys agree? Also, down below in the comment section, tell me, what do you think? Where do you have Martin this year? And also, like, as far as the future in a couple of years, can you see him cracking the top three? Because I think I can. All right, next up, also at, like, five weeks out of Mr. Olympia, we got a new physique update from Ramon Dino. Now, he didn't take his clothes off. He didn't do any poses, but, I mean, he did do the poses, but, like, with his uh, tank top on. However, we can see, basically, what kind of package... He's, uh, he's going to bring, I mean, he's in condition already, check it out, like, he's already very, very lean, very shredded, very hard as well. Of course, there is more work to be done, but at least this year we know for sure that he is not running late. You know, in the Arnold Classic, he was prepping for like six weeks before the show, this time around, it's different, it's a lot different, he's already pretty much in solid conditioning. At the Arnold Classic, where he lost to Wesley Wissers, he was off, let's be honest, like, it wasn't him at his best. Me, personally, I'm definitely a much bigger fan of Wesley Wissers than of Ramondino, physique-wise, personality-wise. I mean, I have no idea what Ramon's personality truly is like, I mean, I don't speak Portuguese, and he doesn't speak English, I have no idea what he's like, but as far as physique... I think Wesley has a lot more of a classic physique. I like that look, you know, everybody likes that look. I know Wesley's legs are not exactly the best, but still, still I definitely prefer Wesley's physique over Ramon's. But I have to admit, I have to be honest, that was not Ramon at his best Rihanna classic. He definitely could have been a little bit leaner and quite a lot fuller. While Wesley was at his ultimate all-time best, and I don't think he could have been better. So that's why he beat him, but you know, Wesley is also probably going to improve. His plan is to come in even more shredded for the Mr. Olympia. I hope he can repeat the same peak and actually, you know, beat Ramon again. That's what I'm hoping for. But is that going to happen? I don't know. I don't know because Ramon at his best, he basically almost challenged Chris Bumstead last year. So Ramon is also very, very good. He's not to be underestimated. And right now at five weeks out, he's definitely bringing good conditioning and since he's already in this kind of shape, he can now, like, work on, you know, fullness and hardness and, like, not just tr just try and, you know, push for conditioning and chip away. He's already pretty much almost ready. It's all about fine-tuning at this point, and I think that's a perfect point to be at in prep for somebody like him especially. I don't know what his weight is like, how, how, how low does he need to go before he reaches the weight cap, before he's below the weight cap, but, I mean, right now, he's looking very good. I would say a little bit flat, a little bit soft, but for five weeks out, this is phenomenal. So he's gonna just get harder and leaner and hopefully fuller. Can he beat Wesley this time around? I mean, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say Wesley is gonna be in that two-man call-out with Chris Bumstead this year. That's what I think is gonna happen, but I can be wrong because, again, I should not be underestimating Ramondino. He is also very, very good. However you guys feel about this, whatever you think, tell me down below. And we also have a new physique update from another Brazilian from the open category, actually, Horse MD. And it seems like he is getting ready for something. He is definitely leaner, a lot leaner than he was, let's say, a couple of months ago. What is the plan? I have no idea. I don't think he announced anything. It could be Romania Pro once again. He was third last year. Maybe he plans on winning it this year. I don't know. But did he improve from last year? I would just have to say no. No. I don't see a lot of progression. I know he has like five businesses, as he says. He's very busy. He's not like all about bodybuilding. And considering that, he's actually making good progress like over the past years. But did he reach like the, the maximum he can achieve with that kind of lifestyle? Maybe. Because I don't see any, any big changes this time around. 
I don't know how many weeks out he is, what show he's planning on doing. Conditioning is definitely getting better, but he's not like close to stage ready. So he's, you know, kind of flat maybe and like still a little bit fat, but like lean as well. Quite lean, just not lean for the show. So maybe this is not exactly the best time to assess his physique. Maybe once he's completely shredded and like peaked and everything, maybe we're going to see more improvements. But as of right now, at this point, I don't think he's better than last year. I think he's the same if not even worse. I mean, there are videos from last year where he looked more impressive, but of course, it's always different, you know, different lighting, uh, different part of the prep and so on, but I'm looking at this and I'm honestly not that impressed. I would like to see, like, more changes from Horse MD if he wants to, like, win shows and go to the Mr. Olympia. That's the way I see it. If you guys see it otherwise, tell me down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For a 10% discount at Hostile Supplements, just use the code EVEN10. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, all the best and bye bye.